around this moon. What happened? I don't know. Maybe it was a minor earthquake. Our uh, backdrop changed a little bit. That happens. We have four or five backdrops back oh. here, so don't get nervous. Everything's fine. Did a good job. You introduced Java. That was great. You yep. went to the commercial mm -hmm. right on time. You're doing oh, yeah? a great job as host. Isn't he doing a great job as host? Oh. oh. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> great. Okay. Uh, can, I, can I do the next guest? The okay. first guest? Can I do the first guest now? Sure, introduce the first guest. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, my next guest is a superb actor who has many talents. He is a lecturer, and he's written a wonderful cookbook called The Treasury of Great Recipes. He's one of the stars of a four-part miniseries called Time Express, which will be on TV in May, and he's also a regular guest on Hollywood Squares. Please welcome Vincent Price. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Gee, I had a little frog in my throat there for a minute. <laughs> you had a little frog in your throat? Yeah. You're going to come out and do that line first? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, uh, I heard you do the warm-up. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, listen, I'm just a frog, you know I mean? What do you expect? Anyhow. Yes. Uh, tell us, uh, yes. you're, you're working in Time Express? That's right, that's yes. right. With my wife, Carl, we've done a mini-series. I've been 30 mm -hmm. years in the business and never had a, a pilot. Well, I had a lot of pilots, actually. Mm -hmm. But uh, I had so many pilots, I could have gotten the Queen Mary out of Los Angeles Harbor. <laughs> yeah. how, how many series mm -hmm. have you actually done in all that just, time? Just this one. This just is this the first one. one. And it's a mini-series. The first series. Oh, that's, that's very exciting. Yeah, I'm ah. very thrilled about it. Okay. Hey, and, and besides being an actor and a lecturer, you're a fantastic cook. Yes, I right? am. You know, I, I uh, when I was asked to be on the show, and I'm really greatly honored to be on the show with you. I, I really am oh. terribly honored, because I, I love doing the show with you in London, the Muppet That's show. true. That's really true. Did. Vincent did our show in, in London, yeah. and it was just wonderful. Thank we had you. so much fun. I enjoyed it. Oh. But I was thinking about some recipes, you know, and I suddenly thought maybe all the recipes I gave you tonight should be vegetarian. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, I certainly hope you're not going to talk about frog's legs. No, you I wouldn't wasn't, do that. I wasn't uh, going to uh, talk about frogs' legs. No. Really, what I was thinking about was pickled pigs' feet, which are one of my pickled pigs' feet. Yes, yes. Pickled pigs' feet. Pickled pigs' feet. Yuck. Yeah, it's not very good to tell you the truth. As, as long as Piggy's not around, yes. I yes. thought maybe she might no. overhear that. Yes. yes. It must be one of her favorites. Uh, I, I would doubt it. No, I don't. Anyhow, know. yes, frogs, we eat things like flies, and I, I've never figured out if those were vegetables or animals. Flies? Flies, They're yes. insects. Oh. Yes, in case you didn't know. Yes, okay, yep. all right. Hey, but listen, what are some of your favorite dishes? Well, uh, you know, like a roast bear, very good. It's hard <laughs> to get, and... Uh, roast bear. Roast bear, yeah. Uh, yes, well... Oh, yeah, wait. <laughs> roast bear. Roast right. bear? Bear, yes, it's really wonderful. You put an apple in its mouth, and you roast it. Was I that bad on that joke? <laughs> You'd be pretty succulent, I would think. Uh, Could you? Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, ben, you've you've done a lot of murders in in some of your movies. Yes, I have. Because uh, I remember what, you you cooked somebody once, didn't you? Yes, I I cooked uh, Carl Brown, who I later married. <laughs> after That's you, right. After you, you cooked, cooked her, and then, and then married. you married her. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I, I gave her a marvelous, um, I gave her a permanent wave. I got, you know those old-fashioned permanents where they put the curlers in and they attached mm -hmm. it to the electricity? Mm -hmm. Then I put her feet in water to give her a pedicure, and then I threw the switch. <laughs> oh, she really roasted. Mm. <laughs> shocking, shocking, right? Yeah. Well, what, what, kind of other, uh, what kind of other murders have you done? Because I know you've well, done I've, other weird uh, things cut off people's heads. I, I've really done an awful lot of fancy murders. Uh, I, I think one of my very favorite ones was one that happened to me instead of my doing it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh, Boris Karloff and Basil Rathbone drowned me in a great big vat of wine. It was wonderful, <laughs> really. <laughs> I bet they, they didn't use real wine, though, did they? Well, of course they used real wine. That they was in the great wine? days of movies, yes. Uh, yeah, these days they'd use colored water, huh? Yes, or Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know, when you were asked to do your first horror film, yeah. uh, that, that was The House of Wax, right? Yes. Uh, did, you ha did you hesitate to accept a part in, in a gruesome movie like that? No, I really didn't, because I, I think people like horror movies. I really do. They like the escape. 
Yeah. And uh, they have a wonderful time. You know, they have fun. And there are more giggles in a horror movie than there are most comedies. Really, it's true. People really giggle a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love the titles of them, yeah. too. I really do, you know. There was, oh, yeah. There's a very uh, funny uh, horror movie you did, uh, the one that I loved the most. Uh, what was that one? The Abominable Dr. Fye. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was terrific. terrific. That was a good movie. That was great. What were, what were some of the other titles? Well, then there was one called Comedy of Terrors, where we mm -hmm. were a bunch of out-of-work undertakers. I remember that. And we had to get a customer, you know, and it was great fun. It really right. was. They uh, fun and and what, what were some of the others? Well, let's see, now we did uh, The Pit and the Pendulum, yeah. huh? The yeah. Mask of the Red Death. Oh, mm -hmm. there's some wonderful ones. Uh, but I, I think one of the things that is really very necessary in, in horror movies, you know, is, the, is, is all the sort of accoutrements that go with it. Like, mm -hmm. you must have a, a deep voice. Isn't that right, don't you think? You've got to have a high voice and be in a horror movie. Boo! No, that doesn't yeah. work. But yes, crazy. Boo. Right. You know, and then you must speak well because people must be able to understand it. You speak beautifully. And then it's best to have blue eyes because everybody thinks you're innocent. Look into my eyes. Wouldn't you trust me? Wouldn't you? <laughs> you see, you'd trust me. And what? the most important thing is a fiendish laugh. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> oh. Uh, you better turn around. I got a okay. surprise for you. Oh! You laughed, master. <laughs> Perhaps you remember that's Uncle Deadly. He worked, he worked with you on the Muppet Show. Uncle Deadly. I've missed you so. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and it's mutual. Let me tell you, it's mutual, yes. baby. Yes, it's, it's been a long time since you've given me any orders. Yes. Mm. Would you like to go out and get me a nice, fresh cup of blood? Okay, well, I think we're... Right. I think that's about it. Uh, yes, yes. You know, I mean, that's about... Yeah, as we far as I right can go. After a commercial? You know, yeah, oh, sure. Let's out. do that right after a commercial. All right. Yes, yes. we're all going out right now. I think I'm just going to go get a taxi. A taxi? Yes, let, let, let's take a commercial. Come on. Yes. Geriatric wimp. Ah, <laughs> uh, asleep again, boy. You don't know what you're missing. And are you lucky? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, get on with the show. They always heckle us on the Muppet Show too. I know, they're great. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you know, Vincent, somehow I, I, I couldn't really think that getting killed in a movie is, is too funny. That uh, it, it's amazing that 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 can be funny. Oh, it is, sometimes it is kind of funny, actually, yeah. you know. Um, I was once in a movie where they shot me with 40 poison arrows, and they tickled. <laughs> I laughed a lot at that, yeah. And then, uh, but you know, I mean, it, w people really make fun of death an awful lot, and it's a good thing, too, because it's kind of serious, you know, yeah. it's final. And, um, you know, they say uh, there are all kinds of expressions, like yeah. kick the bucket, right. uh, croak. Frogs. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, there, there are many jokes written about frogs and croaking, yes. Yes, well, and then uh, yes, there's uh, a, a, a wonderful one that's gone to join the feathered choir. You can see all those people up there with the harp singing. I, right. I really, people make a lot of lightness about death. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Why not? Yes. Well, humor. your 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 movies certainly have, have a lot of great humor in them, though. I think I, they I have little, humor, too. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know, one thing I'd love to do now. Can, can I bring out uh, one, of our, one of our stars? Of course. Uh, because I have, uh, I have an introduction over here, too. Excuse me. Yeah. I have an introduction over here that uh, <coughs> here it goes. goes like this. Yeah. Okay, and here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the real star of The Muppet Show, a glamour queen of the first magnitude, a true superstar, and the person who wrote this introduction, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Piggy! <laughs> Oh, 
very good. You, you, you got your hair down and you got all dressed and everything. Yeah, I still don't look adorable. Uh, you look very good. You certainly do. Did you hello, say hello? How are yes. you, Miss Piggy? How are you, love? All my life I've wanted to meet you. I've met Garbo and Miss Piggy. Everything is finished now. It must have been a long wait for moi. We. Oui. Yes. Thank you. I, thank you. Yes. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm doing my best. <clears throat> well, that's all any frog can do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I, ladies and gentlemen, Vincent. Yes. Uh, and and I, I have an announcement to make, and I want it to be here on the Tonight Show. Well, what is that? Well, I think the time has come, come to, to let it uh, out of the bag. Ladies and gentlemen. I want to say right here in front of everyone that Kurt and moi am engaged. Uh. Wonderful to be in on that news when the oh, world thank you. No. first heard it. Yeah. Not you too, Vincent. Isn't it no. wonderful? It's great to hear it. Dear. Absolutely. Great. Listen, no. Congratulations. Really, congratulations. May you it's have lots of, yeah. lots of... Thank you. Yes, go on to interview now. One with my interview? Yes, right. I want my frog to do well. Go ahead. Vincent? Yes. Yeah. May I ask you some questions from the rectangle? Of course. Uh, uh, Vincent, how do you dress so natty always? Well, it's not easy. Can you give my frog some tips? He has a but he, wonderful body. He has, a, it is a beautiful body, but he has such a, a limited wardrobe, you know? I mean, no, I, I'm in brown tonight. He's always got to be in green. That's it's true. not easy. It's yes. not easy. Not easy being green. Too. Very hard. <laughs> Maybe a little bow tie of, of red or some orange or something like that. Well, I, actually, I, I don't yes. really wear I don't really wear clothes. You yes. know, I mean, I just wear this little pointy collar, this this little thing here. Yeah. Right? But and uh, and I, I take it out and have it vacuumed. You know, see. Yes, occasionally. About once every it, it, uh, two months. It gives off a little dust every once can in we, a while. Can we, I think it's about time to introduce uh, the boys now. Mm -hmm. Introduce the who? The boys. Which boys? Uh, oh, oh, yes, yes, great. Uh, hey, we're, we're going to, uh, yeah, we, we have a number here that, that we would like to do, uh, and, it, and it's by uh, Dr. Teeth and, and Floyd and Zoot. And uh, uh, Floyd sings this song, and he did this song on, on a Muppet show, and uh, he really sings it great. Wow. And it's called The New York State of Mind. Mm -hmm. Super. Okay, guys? Yes. Some folks like to get away, take a holiday from the neighborhood. Hop a flight to Miami Beach or to Hollywood. But I'm taking a Greyhound on the Hudson River Line. I'm in a New York state of mind. touch with the rhythm and blues. Now I need a little give and take. New York Times, the Daily News. Come down to reality. And it's fine with me, cause I let it slide. Don't care if it's Chinatown or rounded Riverside. I don't have any reasons, left them all behind. I'm in a New York state of mind. Uh, 
Well, okay, but uh, don't, don't let this, uh, this audience think that we're engaged. But no, we're not engaged, folks. How we're not engaged. Wonderful to be in on that news when the oh, world thank you. No. first heard it. Not you too, Vincent. Isn't it no, wonderful? It's great to hear it. Dear. Absolutely. Just great. Listen, no. Congratulations. Really, congratulations. May you have lots true. of, yeah. lots of... Thank you. Yes, go on with the interview now. Go on with my interview? That's right. I want my frog to do well. Go ahead. Vincent? Yes. Yes. May I ask you some questions from the right angle? Of course. <laughs> Uh, Vincent, how do you dress so natty always? Well, it's not easy. Can you give my frog some tips? He has a but he, wonderful body. He has, a, it is a beautiful body, but he has such a, a limited wardrobe, you know? I mean, no, I, I'm in brown tonight. He's always got to be in green. That's it's true. not easy. It's yes. not easy. Not easy being green. Too. Very hard. <laughs> Maybe a little bow tie of, of red or some orange or something like that. Well, I, actually, I, I don't yes. really wear I don't really wear clothes. You yes. know, I mean, I just wear this little pointy collar, this this little thing here. Yeah. But and uh, and I, I take it out and have it vacuumed. You know, see. Yes, occasionally. About once it, every it, uh, two months. It gives off a little dust every once Can in a while. Three, I think it's about time to introduce uh, the boys now. <clears throat> introduce the who? The boys. Which boys? Uh, oh, oh, yes, yes, great. Right, right. uh, hey, we're, we're going to, uh, yeah, we, we have a number here that, that we would like to do, uh, and, it, and it's by uh, Dr. Teeth and, and Floyd and Zoot. And uh, uh, Floyd sings this song, and he did this song on, on a Muppet show, and uh, he really sings it great. Wow. And it's called The New York State of Mind. Mm -hmm. Super. Okay, guys? Yes. Some folks like to get away, take a holiday from the neighborhood. Hop a flight to Miami Beach or to Hollywood. But I'm taking a greyhound on the Hudson River line. I'm in a New York state of mind. touch with the rhythm and blues. Now I need a little give and take. New York Times, the Daily News. Come down to reality. And it's fine with me, cause I let it slide. One with my interview? That's right, I want my frog to do well. Go ahead. Vincent? Yes. Yes. May I ask you some questions from the right angle? Of course. <laughs> uh, Vincent, how do you dress so natty always? Well, it's not easy. Can you give my frog some tips? Yes, sir. But he, wonderful body. he has, a, it is a beautiful body, but he has such a, a limited wardrobe, you know? I mean, no, I, I'm in brown tonight. He's always got to be in green. That's it's true. not easy. It's yes. not easy. Not easy being green. Too. Very hard. Maybe a little bow tie of, of red or some orange or something like that. Well, I, actually, I, I don't yes. really wear, I don't really wear clothes, you yes. know? I mean, I just wear this little pointy collar, this, this little thing here. Yeah. <laughs> but and uh, and I, I take it out and have it vacuumed, you know, see? Yes, occasionally. About once every it, it, uh, two months. It gives off a little dust every once Can in a while. Three, I think it's about time to introduce uh, the boys now. <clears throat> introduce the who? The boys. Which boys? Uh, uh, oh, oh, yes, yes, great. Right. Uh, hey, we're, we're going to, uh, yeah, we, we have a number here that, that we would like to do. Uh, and, it, and it's by uh, Dr. Teeth and, and Floyd and Zoot. And uh, uh, Floyd sings this song, and he did this song on, on a Muppet show, and uh, he really sings it great. One. And it's called the New York State of Mind. Mm -hmm. Super. Okay, guys? Yes. Some folks like to get away, take a holiday from the neighborhood. Hop a flight to Miami Beach or to Hollywood. I'm taking a greyhound on the Hudson River line. I'm in a New York state of mind. It was so easy living day by day. Out of 
down to reality and it's fine with me cause I let it slide don't care if it's Chinatown or rounded Riverside I don't have any reasons left them all behind I'm in a New York state of mind Sir, did you hello, say hello how are you Miss Piggy all my life I've wanted to meet you. I've met Garbo and Miss Piggy. Everything is finished now. It must have been a long wait for me, what? We. Oui. Mm -hmm. Oh, Charmy. Yes? I'm doing just wonderfully. I'm so proud of my dog. Uh, 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 thank you. Uh, thank you. Yes. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm doing my best. <clears throat> That's all any frog can do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I, ladies and gentlemen, Vincent. Yes. Uh, and, and I... I have an announcement to make, and I wanted to, to make him on the Tonight Show. Well, what is that? Well, I think that the time has come, Kermit, to, to let it uh, out of the bag. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say right here in front of everyone that Kermit and moi are engaged. Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, what? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, oh, no, wait a second. Oh, we are here, man. Oh, oh, guys. I know. Oh, we are not engaged. That, that, she, she just made that up. She did? Yes. I, we are, I'm not engaged to you. Come on, we are engaged. We're not engaged. <laughs> there, there's no truth to that. We, are, we will talk about this later. Uh, well, okay, but we uh, don't, don't let this, uh, this audience think that we're engaged. But no, we're not engaged, folks. How we're not engaged. Wonderful to be in on that news when the oh, world no. first heard it. Not you too, Vincent. Isn't it no. wonderful? Great to hear it here. Absolutely. Just great. Listen, no. Congratulations. Really, congratulations. May you have lots of, yeah. lots of... Thank you. Yes, go on your interview now. Go on with my interview? Yes, right. I want my frog to do well. Go ahead. Vincent? Yes. Yes. May I ask you some questions from the... Tangle. Of course. Uh, Vincent, how do you dress so natty always? Well, it's not easy. Can you give my frog some tips? He has a but wonderful he, body. He has, a, it is a beautiful body, but he has such a, a limited wardrobe, you know? I mean, no, I, I'm in brown tonight. He's always got to be in green. That's it's true. not easy. It's yes. not easy. Not easy being green. Too. Very hard. Maybe a little bow tie of, of red or some orange or something like that. Well, I, actually, I, I don't yes. really wear I don't really wear clothes. You yes. know, I mean, I just wear this little pointy collar, this this little thing here. Yeah. Right? But and uh, and I, I take it out and have it vacuumed. You know, see. Yes, occasionally. About once every it, it, uh, two months. It gives off a little dust every once Tell in a while. Me, I think it's about time to introduce uh, the boys now. <clears throat> introduce the who? The boys. Which boys? Uh, oh, oh, yes, yes, great. Right, right. uh, hey, we're, we're going to, uh, yeah, we, we have a number here that, that we would like to do, uh, and, it, and it's by uh, Dr. Keith and, and Floyd and Zoot. And uh, uh, Floyd sings this song, and he did this song on, on a Muppet Show, and uh, he really sings it great. Wow. And it's called The New York State of Mind. Mm -hmm. Super. Okay, guys, uh, maybe it was a minor earthquake. Our uh, backdrop changed a little bit. That happens. We have four or five backdrops back oh. here, so don't get nervous. Everything fine. Did a good job. He introduced... Java, that was great. You yep. went to the commercial mm -hmm. right on time. You're doing oh, yeah. a great job as host. Isn't he doing a great job as host? Oh, oh. thank you, thank you. <clears throat> great. Okay. Uh, can I can I do the next guest? The okay. first guest. Can I do the first guest now? Sure. Introduce the first guest. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, my next guest is a superb actor who has many talents. He is a lecturer and he's written a wonderful cookbook called The Treasury of Great Recipes. He's one of the stars of a four-part miniseries called Time Express which will be on TV in May, and he's also a regular guest on Hollywood Squares. Please welcome Vincent Price. Good evening, good evening, Vincent. Very nice to see you, Kermit. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Gee, I had a little frog in my throat there for a minute. <laughs> You had a little frog in your throat? Yeah. You're going to come out and do that line first? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I, uh, I 
I heard you do the warm-up. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, listen, I'm just a frog, you know, I mean, what do you expect? Anyhow. Yes. Uh, tell us, uh, yes. you're, you're working in Time Express? That's right, that's yes. right. With my wife, Carl, we've done a mini-series. I've been 30 mm -hmm. years in the business and never had a, a pilot. Well, I had a lot of pilots, actually. Mm -hmm. But uh, I had so many pilots, I could have gotten the Queen Mary out of Los Angeles Harbor. <laughs> Yeah. How, how many series mm. have you actually done in all that just, time? Just this one. This just is the this first one. one. And it's a mini series. The first series. Oh, that's, that's very exciting. Yeah. I'm ah. very thrilled about it. Okay. Hey, and, and besides being an actor and a lecturer, you're a fantastic cook. Yes, I right? am. You know, I, I, I uh, when I was asked to be on the show, and I'm really greatly honored to be on the show with you. I, I really am oh. terribly honored because I, I love doing the show with you in London, the Muppet that's Show. That's true. That's really true. Vincent did. did our show in, in London, yeah. and it was just wonderful. Thank we had you. so much fun. I enjoyed it. Oh. But I was thinking about some recipes, you know, and I suddenly thought maybe all the recipes I gave you tonight should be vegetarian. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, I certainly hope you're not going to talk about frog's legs. No, you I wouldn't wasn't, do that. I wasn't going to talk about frog's legs. No. Really, what I was thinking about was pickled pig's feet, which are one of my... Pickled pig's feet? Yes, yes. Pickled pig's feet? Pickled pig's feet. Yuck. Yeah, it's not very good, to tell you the truth. As, as long as Piggy's not around, yes. I yes. thought maybe she might no. overhear that. Yes. yes. It must be one of her favorites. Uh, I, I would doubt it. No, I wouldn't. Anyhow, Yes, frogs, we eat things like flies, and I, I've never figured out if those were vegetables or animals. Flies? Flies, They're yes. insects. Oh. Yes, in case you didn't know. Yes, okay, yeah. all right. Hey, but listen, what are some of your favorite dishes? Well, uh, you know, like a roast bear, very good. 